you know, like a lot of anglers in the Midwest, you know, I've heard of Cascade, I've seen the pictures, you know, and, and it's just always something that was always on my bucket list, you know, just to come out here and, and catch these big perch. So just one more thing to check out the list, you know, 20 hour drive from Devil's Lake, North Dakota. It's, it's a haul to get out here, but I tell you what, you know, you get out here, the scenery and just the quality of fish, it truly was a bucket list destination for me. Cannibalistic Cascade Jumbos, unbelievable. Jason Mitchell Outdoors is brought to you by Shields, Vexilar, Clam, K Drill, Ice Armor by Clam, Crestliner, North Dakota Tourism. Clam Pro Tackle, Bismarck Motor Company, Travel Manitoba, and Jason Mitchell Elite Series Fishing Rods. Well, <laughs> we're in a beautiful place this morning. We drove all the way out to Cascade, Idaho, and you just look around us, I mean, it's just gorgeous out here, but yeah, big perch is why we drove so far. And obviously, wherever you go, you have to drive by fish to get there, but it's, you know, just the people you meet, the experiences, the scenery, the travel. This is just a cool place. We're with a good group of guys I've known for years. And, but yeah, we're just gonna fish hard this week and hope for some big perch. And, it's just a beautiful place, unbelievable. I'm just blown away. One of the prettiest places I've ever seen, I think. There he is. <laughs> Love that. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> right in the chin. Great looking fish. God, they just have nice colors. Just distinct stripes on them. They're just beautiful. That's a beautiful representation of a perch right there. All right. Still got my perch eye, I just put a, just a, I, got, I guess I got a little bit of wax worm left on there and just a small perch eye on that bottom treble. You know, and perch eyes are, they're legal to use in Idaho. They're really popular for bait in the Dakotas, both North and South Dakota. And the thing about using a perch eye is they're just really durable. And so you can catch several fish on one eyeball. There he is, he's following it. He's got it. All right, all right. I'm pretty sure this is a perch. He's a good one. He's a good one. Got a good one there? You betcha. Oh, man, look at that fish. Jeez. That's what we come to Idaho for. Idaho for. Wow. I'll see. <laughs> that is a perch. That is a perch. How many stripes does that fish have on it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big perch. That is a big perch. Wow. See you next year. Oops, start down there. There he goes. Nice work, bud. <laughs> We're fishing. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> You're just using a bigger spoon. That's just that yep. pea slab spoon. Pea slab spoon. With some maggots on there. And everything that I've been hearing about Cascade is perch patterns, chartreuse, something yep. that mimics a young of the year perch. That's kind of the program. Yep. Me too. It worked on that fish. All right. Go back and find another one. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is a good fish here. Oh wow, <laughs> look at that. Oh, 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 oh my, that is why people come to Cascade Lake. Look at the girth on that fish. That's over a pound and a half. And there's two pounders in here. Get that chubby darter out of the way. I'm just putting a perch eye on there. Let's show this fish off, but look at that. Get my thumb in her mouth. <laughs> look at that. That is a perch. Yeah, look at where we're at. It's just beautiful out here. All right. Let that fish go. Next time I see you, hopefully you're a two-pounder. Wow. <laughs> Cascade Lake, Idaho. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. Just using a, just a perch imitation chubby darter. I put a perch eye on there. And there's all kinds of little fish that we're marking, but when these bigger fish come in, there's no doubt in your mind, they just come up and chase it and eat it. Get my Vexlar back here. You just see we got so much slush out here, but it doesn't matter when you catch fish like that. Jason Mitchell Outdoors is brought to you by these industry leaders. Introducing the Rise Float Suit with Motion Float Technology. Breathable, waterproof, secure, and all the features that make the difference. Waterproof cell phone pocket, rapid drain system, and maximum flexibility. Fish with security in the Rise Float Suit from Ice Armor by Clam. Rise above. Clam Outdoors. Pursue the ice. A Vexilar is responsible for more fish being caught than any other piece of equipment you could buy. You know what, fishing lures and gadgets have come and gone over the last 60 years, but Vexilar's mission statement has been true, helping anglers catch more fish. Vexilar is the gold standard in sonar performance and reliability in flasher sonar technology. Your ice fishing adventure begins and ends with a Vexilar by your side. Happy 60th Vexilar! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, what's my favorite series of hubs? The Clam C Series shelters work best for us. Hey, what's our favorite ice sub shelter? The X Series from Clam Outdoors. <laughs> yeah. Choose the hub shelter that's right for you at Clam Outdoors. Pursue the ice. Not a lot of ice. Feels like there's more snow and slush than ice. Yeah, look at that. Just a mess. <laughs> but for big perch, that's all right. Some of the big keys are having the right clothing, being equipped with the right machine, or you're gonna spend all your day just trying to drive around and get unstuck. So we, so we rented snowmobiles and they've been working great. But we did, we did quite a bit of homework. Don Cox really went out of his way to make sure we were set up before we came. Hey, I should probably catch that fish. Oh, that'll work. Nice fish. We're gonna put this guy back. He needs another year. Come on, relax, buddy. 
can't go down the hole that way. There you go. Fantastic. Just loading it up with waxies. It's been a slow start this morning, but uh, let's hope that's the beginning of something good. You know, what's interesting about this is that it seemed like wherever we went, we marked fish, you know, as far as what, you know, appeared to be really little perch. I'm talking, you know, two inches to four inch fish. And those fish are just, you know, a foot to three feet off the bottom. They were just dart up and dart down, you know, just your typical classic, you know, tiny perch. You know, and so a lot of times these big fish, you know, I'm talking the jumbo perch, you know, fish over a pound and a half. A lot of times those fish would come in as just a big mark and they'd come in from the side. You know, they didn't come up from the bottom, you know, they came in from the side, anywhere from two to maybe six feet off the bottom. And it was what we saw, you know, we were just out here for four days. And so we just saw just a snapshot of what, you know, what Cascade can be. But it was interesting, you know, you mark little fish everywhere, but don't get distracted by that. You know, the big fish come through and you know it. I mean, they make a big red mark and a lot of times they're traveling by themselves, maybe two or three fish at the most. And when those big fish showed up, those little fish would scatter. And I think those big fish, in a lot of cases, were just chasing down those young juvenile perch. They were eating little perch. Oh, ho, ho. boy, look at that fish just dig. Come on up here. Oh, yeah. Got it bottom of the hole. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> no wonder I couldn't get him started up the wall. Wow! That's a, a good cool. one. Yeah! Oh my! Isn't that gorgeous? Lip them here. Lip them like a bass here. Boy, that fish! You know when these fish hit it. I mean, they don't even act like perch. I mean, they're just carnivores, predators. Awesome. Yeah, there's two of them down there. That's the first time I've seen more than one big fish on the screen. Usually they come in one at a time, but that is just gorgeous. All right. That's a good fish. Let's go yeah, get some more. Yeah, that's a handful. <laughs> I the love wave. it. I love it. Thanks, bud. <laughs> good shot. <laughs> that was cool. For us, you know, we didn't drive over 20 hours just for a, a meal of fish. I mean, we're out here to try to catch, you know, some big fish. And for a lot of people, you know, you can come out here and, you know, it's a really a, a realistic chance of, of catching a perch over two pounds. I and mean, we've seen a half a dozen here in our trip. And I don't, I don't even know how many fish we've caught anymore that are over a pound and a half, you know, which are just huge perch anywhere you go in the, in the country. For us, you know, just a catch and release trophy destination where you just come out here and, and catch, you know, some of the biggest perch of your life. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. There we go, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Get that transducer out of here. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Look at that, just a football. Let's see what we got here for hooks. These chubby darters just have tiny little hooks on them, but just gorgeous. Look at that. They're just full of eggs. Beautiful. Look at that. It just fills up that hole. <laughs> Too fat to squeeze down the wall. Wow. Incredible place here. Look at the clouds coming off the mountains. It's just beautiful out here. You know, from what we've seen here out on Cascade, you know, this fish is a lot differently than other big perch destinations that we've been to, whether it's Devil's Lake, North Dakota, or Gagebic up on the UP of Michigan. 
you know, a lot of these places, you know, it's almost like a finesse bite where, you know, the fish might be eating freshwater shrimp or mayfly larvae or bloodworms. Out here, you know, these fish are cannibals. And so it's almost like we're fishing them more like walleye fishing where we're fishing them fairly aggressive. You know, we're pulling and, 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 and lifting that fish up off the bottom. And these fish are really chasing these lures. And so just using, you know, small spoons or horizontal swim baits. But I've been using a Samuel Chubby darter almost the entire trip. The slab pea spoon from Clam Pro Tackle has been really popular out here. And then just the leech flutter spoon. But those three, I think, have accounted for a big percentage of the fish that we've caught on this trip. And just your standard perch patterns, chartreuses, you know, something that looks like a juvenile young of the year perch. That's what these fish are eating. All right, Stucky. Giddy up, buddy. Nice perch. <laughs> nice perch. They're just not happy to see me. I'm happy to see them. See you next year. Fun. Part of what made this trip so special is, you know, just the people you get to fish with. You know, it's not just the fish you catch in the in the scenery and the travel, but you know, the people that you're with. And for me to come out here, you know, I fished with Don Cox down in Nebraska. I fished with Chris before up on Devil's Lake, and you know, just a bunch of you know good friends that got together and, and fished. And you know, obviously, you know, you have the camaraderie, you know, which adds a lot of fun to everything. But then it also helps you break down water faster. We could cover water. We could break up and split up and check different spots. And when one person would find some fish, you know, we could help each other and work together that way. Or, you know, worst case scenario, if you run into some trouble or have some trouble with a snowmobile, and especially out in the slush, you know, you have somebody you can call, you know, as far as for help. More snow and more slush. We're gonna be wearing chest waders pretty soon. Oh, I can't believe I didn't go over the top of my boot. And we just blew a belt. <laughs> Always something, but part of the adventure. But yeah, we'll get back into town hopefully and find a belt. Before this thing freezes in, we're gonna have real problems. So yeah, <laughs> this is the Jason Mitchell outdoors that you don't see. <laughs> oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that never gets old right there, my friends. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that hump behind the head. You just tell they're just big perch and they get that big old hump. I love it. All right. Look at the belly. These fish are just full of eggs. There she goes. Just playing keep away with that. That's a number three size chubby daughter. You know what's cool about this is I'm getting paint scraped off of it from perch. <laughs> they don't even have teeth. <laughs> Wearing it out. You know, I think one thing that made Cascade unique this year from what I can gather just talking to the locals is that they really drew down the water this year. And so the water is 10 feet lower than normal. And so we didn't find a lot of shallow patterns. Most of our patterns that we found were deeper, anywhere from say 25 all the way out to 35 feet of water, just fishing those main lake points and contours before the old river chip. There's a lot of water out here. It's 30,000 acres of water. It's a pretty long reservoir, but uh, it's just a classic reservoir where there's several species of fish, but it's the jumbo perch, these giant perch that really put Cascade on the map for the angling community. There we go. <laughs> A 
Let's. Oh, look at here. <laughs> oh, these perch are just cannibals. Look at that. You know, they're coming in, they're coming in and chasing it. And that chubby dart, you just pull it away, just kind of rip it away from them, two, three feet off the bottom. <laughs> these mako perch do not like that. They just come in and just eat it. What a fun way to catch a perch. All right, let her go. Look at just the colors on that fish. Oh man. We're just looking at the lake map and just, you know, following that 20, maybe 26 to 32 foot contour, looking for big points that stick out inside turns. I think they're following all along these contours, but you'll see some little fish going, oh, here comes one. And then all of a sudden a big mark, but these big perch, I mean, you know it, they make a big red mark. They don't dart in and dart out. They're just, they just chase it. It's like a game of keep away and they come in just pull it away from them and they just come up and smoke oh come on come on eat it there he is there he is oh that's a good one. Oh, this is a good fish this is a good fish let that transducer out oh come on he's down at the bottom of the hole oh yeah here he comes here he comes here he comes Oh, 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 wow, this is the biggest one of the trip for me. My goodness, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow, that is gorgeous. I'm gonna dip her here, we'll weigh her here real quick. But Don caught one here a little bit ago. It was a two pounds, 2.6. We've had maybe five fish now on this trip that are over two pounds nice fish yeah we'll put her got her all right let's see what she goes what does it say 1.94 oh, it again. <laughs> we, can get we can get more water in her <laughs> mouth huh wow we'll get a picture of her and we'll let her go but yeah just cannibalistic Cascade Jumbos. Unbelievable. That is a football. <laughs> they hardly squeeze down the hole. <laughs> they move a lot of water. <laughs> oh, man, I love this place. <laughs> it's worth the 20 hour drive. <laughs> this has been a bucket list trip for us for the last probably five years and We've been kind of waiting for everybody's schedules to line up and Don put this together this fall and we said we are all in. And I'm afraid a bucket list trip is gonna turn into an every year trip the way this is going, because we are having a blast. <laughs>